Welcome back to another episode of VTTV. Today we have a real treat for you. We're going to be working on a Lenovo ThinkPad E14 laptop. This guy right here. And it currently has 8 gigs of RAM. We're going to go ahead and upgrade him to 16 gigs of RAM. Um, this is one of the 14 inch variants of this laptop. There is a uh, 15 inch variant with pretty much the same build that does, uh, the, these instructions should apply for the most part. Um, you can tell the E15 variant uh, from the 14 by obviously the larger screen as well as the inclusion of a 10 key. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started on getting this laptop apart and getting the new memory installed. First off, we're gonna go ahead and flip it upside down. As you see, there are a total of seven screws on the back of the laptop, three on this side, three on this side, and one up here in the top. Um, we're going to go ahead and remove those with my Phillips Zero screwdriver. Go ahead and loosen those up. These are captured screws, so they don't actually release fully from the bottom panel of the laptop. They uh, stay captured in there so that you don't lose them, which is pretty nice. All right. And next we'll grab our pry tool and we'll start on the edge here. I like to open up the lid because it gives the entire assembly a bit more stability. I want to go ahead and try using the pry tool to move the top up away from the bottom of the laptop just like that. Go ahead and get your tool in there and we'll go ahead and slide it across while applying some gentle pressure. Whoops. Get that back in there. Sometimes it will take a little bit of manipulating, moving it around, kind of get it in the right spot. There we go. One click. These are the clicks you're hearing are the locks being released underneath the plastic here. There are quite a few of them that hold this entire thing together. No. That's it for the front. And there are gonna be a couple on the sides as well too. Again, I like having it up on its side and kind of opening it up to keep everything nice and stable. And once you get the front and one of the sides loose, the thing just pretty much falls apart. But the trick is actually getting it all separated in the first place. Oh, this one's being stubborn. There it goes. down like this. At this point, everything will be pretty much loose. We'll want to go along the back here. There's also some additional snaps. So pretty much in this hinge area. Go ahead and pry up. And again, they are sometimes pretty stubborn. You may have to reposition get the best amount of leverage here. There we go. As things loosen up, it comes apart quite easy. 
And one thing I've ran into here is one of the screws is still kind of screwed down. We'll go ahead and make sure that's fully out of there. Oh, there it goes. That popped up there. After that's out, there is a protective shield over the ram. We we'll want to go ahead and use a flat-headed screwdriver and lift that up out of the way. And you can actually get purchase on it. Any one of these corners here, it's all held in by these little press clips. So it's pretty easy to get this lifted up out of here. There we go. Oh. There we go. And after it's open, you can see the soldered on memory and our open memory slot. We go ahead and open up our new stick of RAM. We're using the Novo Genuine RAM. And RAM's installed just like you would any other machine. Just match up the sides. Make sure you're inserting it the correct way. And when you hear the click, you know you're good to go. We'll go ahead and replace our shield on here. Now at this point, we're pretty much done. Go ahead and snap back on my bottom panel. And it doesn't snap as loud as it did when it was t being taken apart, but you do get a quite a bit going back together. But once you feel that machine's pretty much all squeezed back together, you should be good to go. Whoops. Put the right screwdriver bit on your screwdriver first, then tighten down all the screws. And these don't take very much. Again, they're pretty short. One of the captured screws did end up falling out, but it just pops right back in. This laptop, we had it sitting here charging overnight. So your mileage may vary on that, on this next part, but we wanna make sure you're either plugged up to power or you have a fully charged battery. Wanna go ahead and turn the laptop on and make sure that the full amount of installed RAM is showing up on the system. So once you get the Lenovo screen, hit the enter key go get your beep then we'll want to go into hit F1 to the bio setup utility and from here we can see that our installed memory is 16,000 megabytes so 16 gigabytes um, beyond that uh, yeah we're all set to go we can go ahead and boot into Windows and start setting up our computer for our user and uh, yeah that's what I have for you today on installing memory in this Lenovo E14 laptop. I will uh, be sure to take further videos as we encounter new and exciting laptop models that need a memory installed in them. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.